Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how the actors in the movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial, released back in 1982, have changed over time, as well as provide interesting facts about the characters in the movie and the lives of the actors. E.T. is a 1982 American science fiction film produced and directed by Steven Spielberg and written by Melissa Matheson. It tells the story of Elliot, a boy who befriends an extraterrestrial dubbed E.T. who's left behind on Earth. Along with his friends and family, Elliot must find a way to help E.T. find his way home. Don't forget to subscribe and like as we're just getting started on this channel. Henry Thomas played the role of Elliot. He was 11 years old at the time of filming, and now he's 51 years old. Like many child actors, Thomas struggled with the popularity he gained in the months and years following the release of E.T. In November 2019, Thomas reprised his role as Elliot, for an Xfinity and Sky UK commercial, in which E.T. returns to visit a now adult Elliot and his family for the holidays. Thomas married actress Marie Ziek on May 10, 2004. They had a daughter named Hazel. The couple were divorced in 2007. Thomas also has two children with his current wife, Anna Lee, and in 2014 moved to Wilsonville, Oregon. During the Flaniverse reunion panel at 2022 Season Screaming's Horror Festival, Thomas acknowledged that he and actress Alex Esso, his co-star in Mike Flanagan's Doctor Sleep, have been romantically involved for some time. In 2021, he had a main role in Flanagan's horror series Midnight Mass. Thomas worked in Stargirl, portraying Dr. Midnight and voicing his AI counterpart Chuck until the latter role was recast with Alex Collins in Season 2. Drew Barrymore played the role of Gertie. She was 7 years old at the time of filming, and is now 47 years old. In early 2011, Barrymore began dating art consultant William Kopelman, the son of former Chanel CEO Ari Kopelman. The couple announced their engagement in January 2012 and married on June 2, 2012. Four days later, the couple's wedding images appeared on the cover of People magazine. They have two daughters. On April 2, 2016, Barrymore and Kopelman released a statement about their separation. On July 15, 2016, Barrymore officially filed for divorce, which was finalized on August 3, 2016. In an interview with ContactMusic.com in 2003, Barrymore said, Do I like women sexually? Yeah, I do, totally. I've always considered myself bisexual. I love a woman's body. I think a woman and a woman together are beautiful just as a man and a woman together are beautiful. Being with a woman is like exploring your own body, but through someone else. Barrymore follows a plant-based diet, and she reportedly convinced Cardi B to try veganism. Peter Coyote played the role of Keys. At the time of shooting, he was 41 years old, and now he's 81 years old. He's an American actor, director, screenwriter, author, and a narrator of films, theater, television, and audiobooks. Coyote's voice work includes his narration for the opening ceremony of the 2002 Winter Olympics and Apple's iPad Retina Display campaign. He narrated the PBS series The Pacific Century, winning an Emmy, and 11 documentaries directed or produced by Ken Burns. Coyote became a member and later chairman of the California Arts Council from 1975 to 1983. In the late 70s, he shifted from acting on stage to acting in films. In the 90s and 2000s, he acted in several television shows. He speaks fairly fluent Spanish and French. Beginning in 1975, Coyote undertook meditation practice and eventually became a dedicated practitioner of American Zen Buddhism, moving into the San Francisco Zen Center. He was later ordained a lay priest in the Soto tradition and was ordained as a Zen priest in 2015. Dee Wallace played the role of Mary. At the time of shooting, she was 34 years old, and now she's 74. She's an American actress, perhaps best known for her role as Mary Taylor, the mother in E.T. She was briefly married first to Barry Wallace and still uses his last name in her career. Their marriage ended in divorce, and she married Christopher Stone in 1980, who died suddenly in 1995. They have one daughter, Gabriella Stone. Wallace is a public speaker and self-help author, having written three books, and has her own call-in radio show where she talks exclusively about the creation of self. She often speaks about how you can get through tough times with determination and love. She's also written a book called Bright Light about her life lessons from an acting career. In 2018, she gave her first TED Talk at TEDx Cape May. 
entitled The Common Ground of Self. Robert McNaughton played the role of Michael. He was 16 years old at the time of the movie and now is 56. He's an American actor best known for his role as Elliot's brother, for which he won a 1982 Young Artist Award as Best Young Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture. McNaughton also played the lead role of Adam Farmer in the 1983 film I Am Cheese, based on the young adult novel by Robert Cormier. McNaughton is married to actress Bianca Hunter. McNaughton retired from acting in 2002. He then worked as a mail handler at the Bulk facilities in Phoenix, Arizona and Jersey City. In 2013, McNaughton returned to acting, performing in two films, Kamal Ahmed's Laugh Killer Laugh, co-starring his wife Bianca Hunter, and Damien Leon's Frankenstein vs. The Mummy. Sean Anthony Fry played the role of Steve. He was 16 years old at the time of the movie and is now 56. He was born in Hollywood, California, and the actress Soleil Moon Fry is his half-sister. Their father was actor Virgil Fry. He's best known for his role as Steve, the sunglass-toting friend of Elliot's older brother and E.T. His last made-for-television film was Tough Love, where he played the role of a drug-involved teenager whose addiction caused him to steal from his family. Fry's last feature film was Molly Ringwald's For Keeps, about teenage pregnancy. Beyond acting, Fry was wardrobe consultants on the 1983 film Valley Girl. C. Thomas Howell played the role of Tyler. He was 16 at the time and now he's 56 years old. Howell made his show business debut on The Brian Keith Show. In 82, Howell made his film debut as Tyler in Steven Spielberg's E.T. In the 1980s, Howell dated actress Kyle Richards. He married actress Ray Don Chong, whom he met while co-starring with her in the 1986 film Soul Man. They were married in 89 and divorced the following year. Howell married his second wife, Sylvia Anderson, in 92. Together, the couple had three children. In 2016, Anderson filed for divorce. In November 2001, Howell was acquitted of five misdemeanor charges arising out of a confrontation with a skateboarder in Southern California. Howell was one of two final actors in the running for the lead role of Marty McFly in Back to the Future. The other was Eric Stoltz. Ultimately, Michael J. Fox was cast as Marty after Stoltz was deemed wrong for the part. Erica Eleniak played the role of Pretty Girl. She was 13 at the time and is now 53 years old. Eleniak was once engaged to her Baywatch co-star Billy Warlock, who had played her love interest on the show. Eleniak married bodybuilder Philip Goglia on May 22, 1998. But after just six months, the marriage ended in divorce. After filming Snowbound in 2001 in Calgary, Alberta, Eleniak became enamored of the city. She began dating Rosh Diagle, a key grip who worked on the set. She had wanted to leave Los Angeles as she found commuting to and from Telluride, Colorado difficult. She purchased a home in Calgary where Diagle lived. The two eventually married. Eleniak became pregnant in 2005, but six and a half weeks into her term, the pregnancy was discovered to be ectopic, which required emergency surgery and ended in a miscarriage. Eleniak later became pregnant again and gave birth to a daughter. Her 10-year-old co-star, Henry Thomas, told People magazine that she disliked filming the scene. When I had to kiss the girl, I had to do it two times. I don't like girls. Finally, Milt Kogan played the role of medical unit. At the time of filming, he was 46 years old, and now he's 86. Milt Kogan is an American actor who made well over 100 guest appearances on American network television shows. He's perhaps best known for playing Desk Sergeant Kogan on six episodes of the sitcom television series Barney Miller, and for appearing in six different roles in the 70s on Police Story. Milt is an MD who practices board-certified family medicine in Los Angeles. He also holds an MPH, epidemiology, from the University of California. He was a Peace Corps physician in West Africa, practiced with the National Health Services Corps in Harlington, Montana, and served with the U.S. Army in Hanoi. He speaks English, French, German, and Spanish. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends or on social networks. We'd be very grateful. Write in the comments the name of the movie and the actors you want to see discussed in our next videos. Have a nice day and we'll see you on our channel.